Hi everybody, I'm Zilla Blitz and welcome to the second half of our second to last mission in our nine mission campaign with By Stealth and Sea. Now, some people in the comments after the last episode said that we stopped in the middle of a cliffhanger just because we have two crews trying to get past the torpedo nets in Gibraltar Harbor while mortars are dropping down on them with the entire fate of our nine mission campaign in the balance and we stopped the recording there I'm not sure that's a cliffhanger so much as, let's just say, a point of high drama that we stopped the film at. Beside the point, we're going to jump right back into the action. Luigi and Ray are getting mortared as they're trying to cross the torpedo nets. Behind them are Servo and Jimmy J Jr. Now, we've already lost our most experienced crew, killed by depth charges. Unless we sink the King George, we're going to be losing by 18 points with one mission to go with no hope of beating our historical counterparts. It's all, it's either do or die. My guess is it's probably just gonna be die and die, but let's see what happens. As a quick recap, it's 3 a.m. in the morning. It's 8th of May, 1943. We're in Gibraltar Harbor. SLC-3 right here is manned by Luigi and Ray. They're trying to get across this torpedo net. Right behind them is the crew of Servo and Jimmy J Jr. They are also trying to get across this torpedo net. The reason, inside the mole at Gibraltar Harbor lies the King George, a 10-point battleship that we need to sink in order to have any hope of keeping our campaign victory alive. When we last left our crews, the mortars were starting to rain down on Luigi and Ray Jr. Now, that means we need to pick a six or less to survive. Now, some people said it's a cliffhanger. It's also been a cliffhanger for me because I have not touched this card since our last episode. I'm flipping it right now. Now, the odds are not good here because a seven is, I mean, we need to be really lucky. Luigi and Ray Jr. Ah, seven! No, they're submerged and they're hit because a, ah, it has to be a six or less. A seven hits them. Gah, okay, so Luigi and Ray are stunned. That's not good. And that actually ends our 3 a.m. turn. Now we go to our 3.30 turn. Our fate's turning for the worse here. We have to roll to see which one of our SLCs has a break. We're hoping for SLC number one because they've already been destroyed. Oh, yes, we get SLC number one. So we can now take our actions here. Let's ponder for a second what we're gonna do. All righty, here we go. SLC number two is gonna use one action point to move into the same area as SLC number three. And then they are gonna try to use their second point to cross the anti-torpedo net. Now they're submerged, so they need a six to be able to succeed at this. The odds, again, not very good to pull off this maneuver. Can Servo and Jimmy J Jr. make a miraculous move and get inside the harbor? They get a four, they fail. So they're gonna get mortared at the end on the enemy reaction phase here as well. Now, SLC number three with Luigi and Ray Jr. They're gonna use their one action point to try to recover their stamina. They need a four, five, or six, and if they fail, we're actually gonna use one of our rerolls to try to get them to recover again. My thinking is if we can get them recovered, then they're gonna get another chance to get mortared and maybe they won't be successful this time. Four, five, or six to succeed, they get a one. We're gonna use one of their breathing tokens right now to try to have them do it again. We're gonna switch out the die here too. Four, five, or six, a five, excellent. So they have recovered their stamina at the cost of one of their breathing tokens, but that means if the mortars hit them again, they'll only be stunned. Let's go now to the enemy reaction phase in this 3.30 a.m. turn. First up, we're gonna start with the searchlights, looking for SLC number two. They need an 11 or greater, they get a nine, they fail. That's a nice high number that we burned up there too. Likewise, they're searching for um, Luigi and Ray Jr., SLC number three, an 11. Ah, oh, gosh. So they are detected. SLC two isn't, but SLC three is. That's unfortunate. Gosh, Luigi and Ray Jr.'s luck not doing very well here. Now we need patrol craft response. Goodness gracious, this is getting nasty. Submerged, they need a 10 or greater to spot Servo and Jimmy J. They get a five. Oh, we needed that one to get underneath the net. So they are not detected. To spot Luigi and Ray Jr., they need an eight or greater. 
get a six. So we go undetected by enemy craft. Now we come to the tricky part. We need to get past the mortars here. The mortars are gonna hit both crafts. So first up, we'll pull for Servo and Jimmy J Jr. Again, we need less than a seven to make it through this. First one, ah, Servo and Jimmy J Jr. get stunned by the mortars. That's not good. Luigi and Ray Jr. A seven. They get stunned by the mortars as well. God, these mortars are deadly. So we go to the 4 a.m. turn. Both of our crews are stunned. Ah, oh, they've been detected. Things are getting pretty grim pretty quickly here. This might be a super short mission. Okay, let's roll to see which one of our SLCs has something break on it. Hopefully SLC number one. SLC number two, let's go see. All right, SLC number two has some breakage here. It is a breathing gear fault. Oh, I wanted to use that to be able to try to have them be able to recover. Hoping for a six here to keep it. Yes, they get a six, so they survive that. Would have been nice to get the six going through the torpedo nets, but that's another story. So that was a fortunate thing for us. Now let's go to our actions in the harbor. All right, SLC number two and three. I think the strategy is still the same to try to survive here. So SLC number two is gonna to try to recover. They need a four, five, or six. If they fail, we're gonna to try to roll again using a breathing token. They get a six. Oh, six would have got us through the gate on that same thing. So they are now okay and not stunned. Now we're gonna try the same thing with Luigi and Ray Jr. They need a four, five, or six. They get a three. They fail. We're gonna use their last breathing gear token. They need a five or a six now because that gives them minus one stamina. They need to recover here. They get a one. They stay stunned. Ah, that's grim. That's some grim business here. All righty. So we go to the enemy reaction phase now. Okay, first the searchlights for Servo and Jimmy J. They need an 11 or greater, a six. That's what we need to get through the net. We're burning up our good cards here. Uh, Luigi and Ray Jr. have already been detected. So now we go to the patrol craft response. First we'll do Servo and Jimmy J. They need a less than a 10 to stay undetected by patrol craft. They get a nine, they just barely go undetected. Luigi and Ray Jr. need less than an eight. They get an eight, so patrol craft appears in front of them. It might be, whoops, patrol craft number one we need. It might be too late anyway, because they might be gone by that point in time. But now comes for the mortars. Ugh, okay. So first up, we're gonna pull for the mortar on Servo and Jimmy J Jr. They need less than a seven to get inside the harbor. They get a six. They don't get inside the harbor, but the mortars miss them. Yes, so the next turn, if everything goes right, we can get them inside the harbor. Luigi and Ray Jr. are already stunned. They need similarly less than a seven to not get killed. Oh! So, Luigi and Ray Jr. aboard SLC number three, taken out of action by mortars. That leaves us only with Servo and Jimmy J Jr. to try to get inside the harbor and be able to save our campaign. Oh, we're gonna go to the 4.30 a.m. turn now. Let's see which one of our SLCs has something break. Hoping anything except SLC number two one that's good so now it's our turn and what we're gonna do is we're gonna use all of their action points to have them circumvent the torpedo nets because they can do it successfully with two action points and they are officially inside the harbor now they do have a ways to go They've got to get pretty got a good distance to cover here to get to the King George and time is running out so let's go now to the enemy response on this 4A, 4.30 AM turn. Yeah, can we, get, can we even make it? That's five, five, they're just gonna make it if they make it at all. Oh my goodness. 
This is really tight. Okay, first spotlights, a three, no detection there. Next patrol craft, a five, no detection there. That's good. Now we need to do random movement for this patrol craft, hoping that they get out of our way. We need anything except a seven or an eight. Get a six, that's good, because a six means that they move away for us, looking for us outside the harbor here. That's good, and that means no mortars involved. Everything's good. We go now to our 5 a.m. turn. We have an hour and a half left to try to rescue our campaign. We're gonna see which SLC breaks. It's one again, that's good. So let's take our actions here. We're gonna have them use one action point for Servo and Jimmy J Jr. to move one square forward. Then we're gonna roll a four, five, or six to see if we can move two squares ahead. Oh, we get a two and we fail. Ah, oh, and we have, so we have two action points left. I think we're gonna use it because I think we need to get there fast. Three, we fail again and we burn through our breathing token. All right, let's go to enemy detection here. We could do that again, but I don't think we want to yet. Yeah, we're gonna wait. Okay, so enemy detection, 11 for spotlights. Now we know that 12 is left in the deck here. Seven doesn't spot us. Now we need for patrol craft, and eight does not spot us. We're gonna randomly move that one. So let's see what happens to our chasing patrol craft. They get a seven, they're heading in all, no, they just stay where they are, okay. So that ends the 5 a.m. turn. We go to the 5.30 a.m. turn. We don't have enough time left. We have barely enough time. We have to make all of our rolls to get there. And then they're still not gonna survive. They're gonna get captured. But let's see which SLC breaks. We're racing against time here. SLC number one. We're getting good luck with that. Now it's our turn. We're gonna have them try to push ahead two. We need a four, five, or six to succeed at it. Oh goodness, we get a two. Okay, we gotta burn our breathing token because we gotta get there. Four, five, or six, switching out the die. Here we go. Ah, three, we fail. We can move ahead one, but we're not gonna have enough time. Ah, and I, I mean, I'm tempted of course to go for the destroyer, but that doesn't help us. We need the King George and we, we're not gonna make it. There's, we just, we can't make it. We don't have enough time to do it. All right, okay, okay, no, we, we can't, we abs there's no way we can make it. So rather than go straight one ahead, we're gonna have them try to roll on a four, five, or six to make an underwater submerged move. We'll try to get the three-point craft here. That's the least we can do. And we do. So we pivot and turn using our second action point, and we face that way. So next turn, we can try to at least blow up the destroyer without getting out of here though. All right, we go to the 6 a.m. turn. No, we have to go to enemy reaction, of course. So detection, we have a 12 card in here too. It means it's seven, nothing. And now the patrol craft response, a 10, oof, spotted. And it shows up right in front of us. That's not good. I can't seem to find oh, patrol craft number two. We left it in the harbor there. Shows up right in front of us. We're gonna randomly move that one. Let's see where it goes. Six, so that one moves farther away for us. They seem to have lost the plot a little bit. They move off screen now. But we go to the 6 a.m. turn. Time to roll for a fault. We need perfect execution just to get three points. We'll see what our choice is here. Let's see what fault we get. SLC number one. All right, so. SLC number two has an option here. Let's think through this. They can try to make two 50% rolls. No, they can't because they have to move forward. They have to move forward, detach the warhead, and detonate the warhead. That's three actions. They cannot do it. It's impossible for them to have enough time to sink the craft. So instead, we're going to have them use both of their action points and they are going to scuttle their craft. That gets us one victory point, and now we're gonna see if they can survive by escaping. Now, they would have an experience point, which would give us an experienced crew for our last mission. That would be good. So let's figure out the odds here. So, it is normally a four, five, or six roll. They are readied, so we get plus one. That means we need a three, four, five, or six. It's not earlier, it's not five or earlier, so we don't get that bonus. It's minus one, 
if they're inside the harbor, so now it's a four, five, or six, and it's minus one if they have no more breathing gear tokens, which they don't, so their breathing gear is fully expended. So it goes down to a five or a six for them to survive for the last mission. Servo and Jimmy J need a five or six to survive, which would keep them alive for a last myth at mission. Otherwise, they are captured and spend the next couple of years in a British POW camp. Here is our role. <sighs> Captured. Ugh. That brings us to the end here of probably our worst mission of the campaign. Let's sum it up. In our eighth mission on the 8th of May, 1943, Waliche and Lile, whose target was the HMS Malaya, were killed by depth charges early on in the first couple hours of the mission. That really set things sideways as we really had to push forward with Luigi and Ray Jr. and then Servo and Jimmy J on board our other two SLCs. Their lack of experience did end up showing. Luigi and Ray bravely tried to get through the torpedo nets on repeated attempts. However, mortars laid them to waste and we lost them killed in action shortly before five o'clock. Servo and Jimmy J made it through the torpedo nets but ran out of time as the sun was rising above the harbor. They frantically tried to scuttle their SLC and escape into the night. They successfully scuttled it. They were captured by British security forces and taken as prisoners of war. We lost all three crews. We did scuttle one SLC, which gives us a single one victory point. Our historical counterparts got 12 victory points in this mission, giving them a grand total of 70 victory points compared to our 53 victory points. That means as we go into the last mission, we're down by 17, but our historical counterparts score 11 victory points in their last mission, giving them a grand total of 81. And that means that we would need 11 and 17 is 28 victory points. It's pretty much every one of our crews we're gonna have to sink a battleship in the last mission. Now you might say that we're not playing for anything, however, I will call to your attention that the, vic the, the, the distinction between a minor loss in this campaign and a draw is 71 points. So we have 53, so we need 18 points to not lose our campaign. So we are playing for a draw. That's something to be said, I guess. And we'll be back in our final mission. I'll put the link right here once it's ready. Thanks so much for wa watching. Hopefully we'll have a little better luck in our last mission. See you then.